Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your Stretch and Breathe this morning, and welcome to 2021. And let's hope that this year is, is going to be way better than last year. It has to be, um, you know, just wishing for the best for everybody. So if you're ready, let's get going. We're not going to use any props today, so let's just begin. We're going to start today by just uh, centering ourselves as we usually do. So just rocking side to side, lifting your feet off the floor and then just letting them plant about hip width apart, maybe rocking forward and back. And again, feeling your feet just plant on the floor. Let's roll our shoulders up and back, letting the shoulders melt down the back. Hands are at your sides, palms are facing forward, and just tuck your chin down a little bit so you feel a little bit of length in the back of your neck. Let's sit up nice or stand up nice and tall, lengthening the spine, inhaling. And as you exhale, gently close your eyes. Soften your shoulders down your back. And just begin to bring your awareness into whatever space you're in this morning letting go of whatever it was you were doing before you came here and letting go of your to-do list so that you can spend the next 15 minutes just thinking about you and where you are right now getting a nice stretch in to start your day so bringing your awareness to your breath and just letting your breath flow naturally not trying to change it not trying to control it just noticing it. And with each inhale, maybe, maybe control it a little bit. Maybe just start to lengthen it a bit. And exhaling, lengthening. You can exhale through your nose or through your mouth, whatever feels good to you this morning. And exhale. Let's now take a nice deep breath, inhaling fully all the way to the top, filling up the belly, filling in the chest, holding it at the top, and this time open your mouth and let it all out. And coming back to your natural breath. On your next inhale, raise your arms up overhead and open the eyes. And as you exhale, forward fold from the hips all the way down. Keep coming down till you're totally bent forward. Let your belly rest on the top of your legs. Let your head fall forward, top of your head, right looking down towards the ground. Just go ahead and nod your head yes. Sh shake your head no. And then on an inhale, come halfway up. Bring your hands to your shins and flatten your back. Really lengthen the spine here, top of your head, shining forward, your hips going back. And as you exhale, forward fold again. Feeling a nice stretch in through the whole back body. And this time as you inhale, walk your hands up and place them on your thighs. With an inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, lift the head up, and lift up the uh, tailbone. So you're dropping the belly, nice arch in the back for your cow. Exhale as you bring the belly button up and round the back, tuck in the tailbone and bring your chin to your chest. And with an inhale, lower the belly, raise the hips, bring the head up. And as you exhale, bring the belly button up, tuck in the hips and bring the chin to the chest. Inhaling for your cat. And exhaling for the cow. Really tuck in the tailbone on that cat. Sorry, I think I did that backwards, didn't I? It's a new year. <laughs> Continue on in your own pace, with your own breath. Inhaling for the cow and exhaling for the cat. And maybe linger somewhere if it feels good. I like cow or cat rather on my lower back. 
and complete whatever round you're in now. Come to a flat back. Lower the hands back down to your shins. Really lengthen the spine. As you inhale, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and roll all the way up. And come to standing. Roll the shoulders back. Hands forward. Bring them up to your ears and push them down. Let's take the left leg forward and the right leg back. So take a generous step back with the right leg and then come into a lunge. So your front knee, your left knee is gonna be stacked over your ankle and the back, make sure your hips are squared front. And let's take that back hip and just push it forward a little bit. Whoopsie, <laughs> there we go. Widen your stance if you need to for a bit of balance. Push that hip forward, you feel a nice stretch in through the hip flexor here. And while we're here, let's take the hands in front, round the back. Take a nice few deep breaths here. And release the arms. Bring the back leg forward, just a slight step forward. Putting the weight on the back leg, bring the front toe up on your left leg. And a nice stretch in all through the back of the left leg, particularly in your calves here. Hold in that for a moment. Keep breathing. And then lower that foot. Let's take the front leg now, because now the, the weight should be in your left foot. And we're going to wrap it around and bring it up for a figure four. A little bit of balance here. And once you're in this position, so your leg should be above your knee, just come on down a little bit. Maybe bring your hands to heart center, challenging some balance. Flex your foot so the toe is pointing towards the knee. Safety for the knee. Just taking a breath or two here. Finding a focal point. In Hindu, it's called drishti. So find your drishti. Helps with the balance. And then release. And let's do the other side now. So we're gonna take the right leg step forward, left leg's coming back. Coming into a lunge with your knee stacked over your ankle. Hips are forward. A little bit wider stance if you need to. Let's push that hip forward. Really feel the stretch in through the hip flexor here. And while we're here, we're gonna bring our hands up to cactus. And we're gonna bring the shoulder blades together just squeeze them together opening up the chest a couple of breaths here and then release those arms and take a little step in with that back leg bring the weight onto the back leg and lift that toe up and holding it here for a moment Feeling a nice stretch in through the back, mostly in your calf here. And lower that foot down. This time we're going to take the left leg, wrap it around. Whoopsie, wrap it around. A little balance challenge. Bring it, make sure it's above your knee. And then come down a little bit. So you're like sitting in a chair. And bring your hands to heart center. Flex the foot in, toes come towards the knee. Holding here, I'm going, I'm going. Don't look at me, find your drishti. I'm a little challenged in balance, this is why I do this. There we go. A couple of breaths and then let go. Woo, shake out your legs. Good job everybody. Let's take a nice wide stance here now. Feet are facing forward. And we're gonna to begin to forward fold with a wide leg this time. So with your hands on your hips, Begin to come forward, hinging at the hips, leading with the heart. So just coming down, coming down, coming down, and eventually let go and place your hands on the floor. If you need to bend your legs, go ahead. You should have a bit of a micro bend in your knees anyway. From here, just walk on over to the right side. Feel that stretch in through the left inner thigh. Walk it back to center. Staying at center, left hand's going to stay down. Bring the right hand back up to your hip or your waist. And we're gonna rotate 
the body to the right. So you're rotating to the right. And if it's okay with you, if it feels comfortable, you can bring your hand up. But you don't need to. We just want to have a little bit of a rotation here. We did a nice warm up with our cat cows. A little bit of a rotation here. And then sweep it back down. Let's walk to the left side this time. Feeling the stretch on the inner thigh of the right leg. Always breathing. And walk it back. And this time we're gonna leave the right hand on the ground. You can either tent your fingers or flatten, whatever works for you. Bring the hand up to the hips. And then when you're ready, just rotate to the left. You can bend your knee a little bit if you need to. Get a little bit of a spinal twist here. Bring the hand up, if that's an option for you, or leave it on place. And then coming back around to the front, generously bend your knees, and let's roll back up. Slowly and gently to the top. And once again, rolling the shoulders back. They never seem to stop creaking. And forward. Let's heel toe the feet back to center. And let's give our quads a little bit of a stretch. So we're just gonna take the leg behind, holding onto your foot. And again, pushing the hip forward, feeling a nice stretch in through the quad. Once again, challenging your balance. Find your drishti. And release. And let's do the, shake it out a bit, yeah. And let's do the other side. So taking the left leg this time. Bringing the thighs close together. Pushing the hip forward. You'll notice when you push the hip forward, you're gonna feel a nice stretch into the quad. Breathing. And release and shake it out. How are we doing for time today? Oh, I think we have a couple minutes left. Let's take the left leg and cross it over the right. Left arm comes up, right arm comes down. Stretch it out, fingertips to fingertips, all the way. And as you exhale, walk your hands down the front of your legs. Either keeping your hands on your shins or you can bring your hands, your fingers to the floor. Drop the head forward. Let the head flop forward. And really feeling a stretch into the back body. And walk it back up. And then hook. Let's do the other side. So right leg now is going to cross over the left leg with your right arm up and left arm down, stretching. Fingers in opposite directions, maybe wiggling the fingers. Inhale, and as you exhale, walking hands down. Holding it here for a few breaths. Don't hold your breath, always be breathing. Walk the hands back up, unwind. And let's just take a moment to Get our arms, our fingers, our, our forearms ready by taking the right hand, pressing it back. Get ready for all the typing we're gonna be doing. And down, keyboarding, work, back to work. Hope everybody had, the other side now. Hope everybody had a really nice holiday. We've got that beautiful snow on Christmas Eve. And let's take the thumbs, wrap them inside the fists, and just gently bring the fists forward, feeling a stretch in through the top. You don't want to feel pain. Now this is something that you can do at your desk anytime throughout the day. Roll the wrists in one direction, roll them in the opposite, and give them a Take a nice deep breath in as we bring our arms up. And exhale. Inhaling, arms come up. Exhale, let's come all the way down. Inhale back up. 
Let's reach up one side, really stretching the right side. Reach up with the left hand, really stretching the left side. And both hands come up. Bring your hands together and you can bring them down into heart center or to your sides. And thanks everybody for joining me today. Welcome back. And I hope that you're taking advantage of all the wonderful new programs we have. Um, with all our guys back, it's really awesome to see them all back. So check it out on the Facebook page and look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.